In Good Shape, your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. Dr. Irene Hinterseer, and she's a vascular surgeon at the Charité Berlin. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hello. What causes plaques inside the vessels in the first place? We think today that uh, there's an injury in the inner layer of the artery, um, which causes then a deposit of cholesterol and calcifications and some proteins, uh, which build up this kind of plaque, uh, which is uh, which narrows the artery, and this plaque can burst up, and then um, uh, this can induce blood coagulation and clotting of the blood, and then the artery is closed or um, very narrow. Mm -hmm. But before it closes, there's an injury inside the artery wall. So hypertension, high blood pressure? Yes, hypertension is one of the causes which can cause this injury. Mm -hmm. so, so what about smoking? Smoking is a very high risk factor for um, atherosclerosis. Mm -hmm. so, so if I want to prevent my arteries from getting clogged, I should stop smoking then? You should stop smoking, yes. Good. I mean, I'm not smoking, <laughs> just to make it clear. Um, so um, what about cholesterol? Um, high cholesterol levels as well are high risk factor for atherosclerosis, as well um, diabetes mellitus is a risk factor, obesity is a risk factor, um, and the male gender is as well a risk factor. And if a patient's got diabetes, is it too late um, for the arteries or can you still um, reverse the process happening inside the arteries if you treat diabetes well? A reverse is, is, is not possible, but you can stop the progress or uh, diminish the progress. Um, and the best way is that the um, sugar levels in the blood are really in the norm. Some recent research uh, suggests that an inflammation inside the artery wall might cause the, the clotting. So um, if I would reduce inflammation, for instance, by taking aspirin, do you think there's any benefit from that? We think uh, that the effect of the aspirin is more the antiplatelet effect and not the um, effect of inflammation because we give the aspirin in a very low dosage. So it's more for the platelets, not against the inflammation. Yes. Yes. Um, as a patient, what are the first signs um, that I should see a professional? What are the first symptoms? Unfortunately, um, the first signs, um, they are not very early signs. Uh, the, we see the patients when uh, the damage in the vessel is already very high. So the patient comes to us because he has leg pain or chest pain uh, or he has uh, ulcerations on the legs which are not healing. These are some signs. But yes. they're not early, they're quite late Yes, that's signs, the eh? problem, that uh, you don't have early signs in this disease. Okay. So the body can be its own surgeon in a way, building new collateral arteries. Um, so what can I do as a patient to promote this? Can I just st start and go for a walk or do I need a professional trainer to help me? So this is our first recommendation that the patient has to start to walk um, and he can buy a dog and walk every day. Um, the recommendation is to walk just until the pain starts and then to relax and then walk again. A lot of patients don't have the motivation to do this every day by themselves. So um, we could recommend as well that they go in a special vascular walking exercise group um, where they can do this exercise together with other patients. But it's just for motivation reasons. It's not because it's dangerous if I start walking, just because it's from just motivation for motivation reasons. reasons. And I don't walk into the pain. I just uh, walk into the threshold threshold of the pain, then I stop for it. Yes, yes. If you walk in the pain, you will have the pain, which reduces the motivation to walk. And on the other hand, uh, for the muscle, it means that there is then the lack of oxygen, which is 
not so good for the muscle. So better just until the threshold and then relax and move again. That's the best of, to induce the building of collateral. So it's not the ischemia inside the muscle, it's more like the training itself that yes. promotes this. Great. Yes. As a surgeon, you've got plenty of procedures waiting at the operation table. So what are the most common procedures for artery diseases? Um, today we have two methods. The one is an endovascular method um, where you puncture the arterial vessel and uh, go in with a catheter and then you can put in another catheter which has a balloon on its tip and you can place this in the narrow area, deflate the balloon and compress the deposit in the arterial wall. And to keep the vessel open, uh, usually we put then in a kind of mesh tube, we call them stents, uh, to keep the vessel then open. Um, these are the endovascular procedures. Um, the other way is that we do open surgery. Uh, in this case, we really open the arteries and remove the pl plugs, um, which is called end arterectomy. The other possibility, if perhaps the stenosis of the artery is too long, then we can, per can perform bypass graft surgery. Mm. So we just take another vessel and bypass the stenosis. Then. Yes, we take yeah. another vessel, um, sometimes a vein or an artificial vessel, um, and this works like a collateral. Mm -hmm. so, so what about prognosis of those procedures? Is there any procedure better than the other? Uh, no, we, because we can't heal, uh, we can't cure, um, we can only repair and we always would start with a less invasive method and then go on with uh, more invasive procedures. Yes, yeah, so, so as you're not, not really healing, you're just, um, you're not curing, you're just treating the symptoms. Yes. So, so uh, you're not just a doctor, you're a person yourself, you're human yourself. What do you do for your vascular health? <laughs> so I have the advantage, I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I try, I'm not a non-smoker. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I try to have a healthy lifestyle. Um, and um, as well, I try to have some physical activity, like swimming. <laughs> so it comes to sport, it comes to um, having a great yes. lifestyle. Thanks for having you on the show. Thanks so much.